Warren Buffett is recognized as the greatest investor that ever lived based on his net worth and knowledgeable insight into the business world. He's the chairman and CEO of the multinational holding company Berkshire Hathaway and also one of the most successful investors of all time. Having a net worth of $91.8 billion as of February 2021, Buffett earned the fourth spot as the richest man in the world. The Nebraska-born businessman has always eyed business, financial ventures, stock markets, and investments at a young age. When Buffett was only 11, he was already buying shares in the New York Stock Exchange, which is something you wouldn't be thinking a kid his age would be doing. By the time he was about 14 or 15 years old, he was also investing in his father's business. As a young man, it's quite obvious that Buffett had a natural inclination as a businessman and investor. He further honed his background and interest on the matter using his education from the University of Pennsylvania, University of Nebraska, Columbia University, and New York Institute of Finance. While his knowledge played a significant role in his success, his experiences in the industry also aided him in the process. Buffett worked several jobs as a newspaper delivery guy, a door-to-door -door salesman, an investment salesman, a securities analyst, a stockbroker, and many more. All of these became the backbone of Berkshire Hathaway's growth as Buffett became its chairman and CEO in 1970. Under his leadership, Berkshire Hathaway owned more than 60 companies, some of which are easily recognizable brands worldwide, like battery maker Duracell and fast food chain Dairy Queen. Not only did he manage to send Berkshire Hathaway's revenues soaring, he also made himself a billionaire in the process. Buffett's credibility in the financial world is something small and big investors consider as they make their individual endeavors. His judgment isn't something to be brushed off so easily. That's why when he made remarks against cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, those were easily points worth examining. But before we dive into Buffett's arguments against what some believe as the next step in the evolution of money, let's first take a look at what cryptocurrency and Bitcoins are. Cryptocurrency is a virtual currency distributed across many computers and recorded on secured networks. These digital assets are encrypted into the network in order to avoid counterfeit or double spending basically disrupting the system. Hacking into one's cryptocurrency wallet or increasing the cryptocurrency reserve is close to impossible. This security feature is what makes transactions through cryptocurrency preferable. To add, cryptocurrency also accomplishes such transactions faster and cheaper compared to other means. In the conventional sense, going through a transaction usually involves a third party who takes a cut or charges a fee to handle the exchange. In the case of cryptocurrency, the middleman is removed entirely. Therefore, a recipient directly receives payment from the other party. Sometimes the whole process can take only seconds. Once the transaction is pushed through, it is recorded on an open source ledger to organize the flow of the currency. However, anonymity of the transacting parties is maintained. Aside from these, many cryptocurrencies operate as decentralized networks, meaning there is no central authority which influences and regulates the value for each coin. What determines its worth is user demand. Like stocks and basic commodities, the increasing demand for virtual coins also increases its value. As more people believe that cryptocurrency is an investable asset, its value will continue to go up. Unfortunately, this dependence on user behavior can also be detrimental as cryptocurrency's value is solely dictated by how it is perceived by investors. Such high volatility can result in either great returns or none at all. Nonetheless, investors continue to take the risk with cryptocurrency. The most valuable and most popular cryptocurrency to date is Bitcoin. It is the first decentralized, open-source blockchain-based cryptocurrency released, meaning Bitcoin has a public distributed ledger which is neither handled nor owned by a single administrator. The person behind Bitcoin's launch in 2009 is Satoshi Nakamoto. Although not much is known about the creator, whether the name is real or just an alias, or even whether he was just one person or a group. Nevertheless, Nakamoto's creation of Bitcoin became the starting ground of cryptocurrency. Bitcoins are first acquired through mining a service done through the use of computer processing. Miners usually include groups of people, 
or companies with facilities and high-performing computers which can handle difficult algorithms. Discussing the whole mining process is quite complex, but to put in simpler terms, it's similar to mining for gold. You need to put in the work before you get the goods. Sometimes generating bitcoins could even take years. When a group is finally rewarded with bitcoins after mining, they can store the coins in a digital wallet on their computers, after which they can be exchanged for cash, commodities, or services which initiates the flow of the currency. Such exchange of goods is done through Bitcoin's peer-to-peer -peer network at minimal processing fees from any part of the globe. These and the other functions of Bitcoin resulted in a rise in the demand for it as a medium of exchange. As more people were attracted to Bitcoin, its value rose from $200 in November 2013 to an estimated $55,000 in February 2021. People who paid using Bitcoin in its early days must be regretting it now. Who would have thought that in just a few years, Bitcoin could buy them hundreds of times more of what they initially got? Well, the rise in value is not actually as appealing as it sounds. Through the years, Bitcoin's value fluctuated considerably. That's thousands of dollar losses or gains each day. Such high volatility is what makes Bitcoin, or cryptocurrency in general, a problematic medium of exchange for some. Buffett, for one, has expressed his opinions on the matter. In a couple of interviews with CNBC, Buffett expressed compelling arguments against cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, going as far as proclaiming, I can say almost with certainty that they will come to a bad ending in 2018. He even called cryptocurrency as a rat poison squared, a mirage, and a gambling device on different occasions. Hearing such words from a man with his credibility can cause investors to think twice about putting their money in cryptocurrency. If Buffett thought it was a bad idea, then maybe it is. Buffett's sentiments on the matter remain to this date as he reiterated his reasons on why he would never own nor purchase bitcoins. First, Buffett is not a fan of bitcoins because he believes they do not hold any intrinsic value. They are only dictated by one's willingness to pay for it. Is $20,000 worth one bitcoin? How about $50,000? As long as there are people who believe Bitcoin holds such high value, then it will continue to do so. However, the opposite can also happen. When the public realizes that Bitcoins are nothing more than what they perceive it to be, its value will eventually crash. Investing in such a volatile market is something Buffett strays away from. Buffett states that Bitcoin can't produce anything and often makes the comparison to a farm. A farm can change in its value by producing more or less, but also by what it produces. If a farm grows a lot of apples, it will make more money, and if it produces a different fruit that is more valuable, like a watermelon, then they can charge more. With Bitcoin, or any cryptocurrency, there is no exchange in its value based on what it can or rather can't produce. He'd rather put his money in undervalued companies which have the potential to increase its value consistently and steadily. Second, Buffett's investment portfolio revolves around things he understands, like consumer goods and financial services. By limiting things within his area of expertise, he can strategically invest his money on companies he thinks will appreciate substantially. This very reason is why he isn't taking a position in cryptocurrency. Why would he dive into something he doesn't understand when he can focus on things which he does. After all, he has been successful in respective industries for several years, so going into a complicated market may not be the best course. Unfortunately, not every investor holds the same principle as Buffett does. When people hear about a new craze or the next big thing, they tend to place their bets immediately. No research, no observation, just trying to get ahead of the race. While this strategy may work at times, it's quite risky. Not knowing the market's behavior and the growth potential of a stock or a cryptocurrency can yield negative returns for an investor. Looking at social media, the mass majority joke that the price of Bitcoin is going to the moon and many people making absurd target prices, such as $1 million. This type of herd mentality is what causes a bubble, very similarly to how the dot-com bubble developed. Third. Buffett sees bitcoins as a gamble rather than an investment. There's no firm evidence which can define its growth. 
In a recent interview with CNBC, Buffett said, It doesn't reproduce. It doesn't deliver. It can't mail you a check. It can't do anything. Basically, it's worthless, and you're just betting that someone will pay more for it in the future. Unfortunately, such speculation is the reason why Buffett believes Bitcoins are not investments. If he were going to place bets on anything, Buffett would rather put them in companies with wide economic moats or those having distinguishing characteristics that enable them to compete in the market. These companies experience steady growth, which results in lucrative returns for investors. Lastly, Buffett believes associating with Bitcoin or cryptocurrency in general damages the reputation of his firm, Berkshire Hathaway. He knows that illegal activities like money laundering and trafficking of goods can happen on the platform. Anonymous exchanges with digital money can foster criminal transactions. There would be no need to carry suitcases filled with cash. He even said that he'd rather lose money than lose the reputation of his firm by supporting these transactions. Warren Buffett is a well-established businessman who knows what he's doing and why he's doing it. His reputation partnered with his success shows that the decisions he makes aren't based on mere speculation. They are backed by observation, research, logical reasoning, and intuition. That's why, if he believes cryptocurrency will not be ending well, then there's a chance that it may come true. Did Warren Buffett's arguments against Bitcoin persuade you to stray from cryptocurrency? Do you think we are in a cryptocurrency bubble? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.